Thank you. The Golden State has a snitch line for hate. California promotes squealing if someone hurts your feelings. It's true, greasy-haired goon Gavin Newsom recently announced his state will be launching a hotline for reporting acts of hate. According to the website, examples of hate incidents include name-calling, bullying, or refusing service. Or as I call them, the three pillars of good management. <laughs> Ask my staff if you can still find them. The project known as California vs. Hate will allow victims and witnesses to report a hate incident against any group in a safe, anonymous manner. Because California won't tolerate hate, unless you hate street crime or drug abuse and public pooping. In that case, you're out of luck. And who gets to define what a hate crime is, right? For some, it's suffering through a new song by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. For others, it's suffering through an old song by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, because <laughs> they suck. According to Newsom, a hate act is vaguely defined as any hostile expression or action against someone's actual or perceived identity. Perfect example, telling Leah Thomas the pool's so cold it'll give her shrinkage. <laughs> telling Rachel Dolezal that she owes reparations. <laughs> or telling Brian Kilmeade he's got to go home. So California set up a snitch line, but the best part, law enforcement won't be involved. So I guess it's like how California handles murder, rape, and theft. Then again, maybe having a place to re report hostility isn't all bad. We've actually obtained tape of a few of the calls. Hello, California Hate Hotline. How can I help you? Yeah, uh, my boss keeps telling people that I'm a drug-addicted alcoholic. How many people is he telling? Uh, like a couple million every night. Wow, that's messed up. Anything else? Yeah, he also won't stop talking about his abs, quads, and biceps. Has he threatened you? Oh, no. No, no, no. He's super tiny. Like, crazy small. California Hate Hotline. Yeah, my so-called co-worker keeps asking me to pick him up and hold him like a baby. Uh-oh. Yeah, he won't stop talking about his abs, quads, and biceps. Sounds like he's obsessed. <sighs> Only with toilet humor. It's disgusting. Wait, he just sent me a picture of him sitting on the toilet. It's so disgusting. Please do something. I'll file this right away. I can't stand gra uh, leg... Uh, Thank you, sir. Virus! This is, do you think this is like the most necessary thing? Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, give the police a break. Let Karen call somebody else. This is great. Oh, that's we, a good idea. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm calling them. Are the police involved? No. Shut up, Karen. <laughs> like, what? I mean, literally, it's the Tattletale hotline. Yes. But we talked about this before. This is how they don't have to deal with it anymore. Right. We did this, you know, like now they can call a line and they'll be save it and they'll go in a little box like Dwight Schrute in the office, his complaint box, yeah. and he'll keep it in Sacramento. And the good news is they'll have fresh toilet paper for everybody crapping outside. So yes. it'll work out just fine. Yeah, it is. I, did, I forgot that you said that. And Molly, I, 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 I felt like, oh, like they're allowing all the other crimes to occur, and this is the one they're gonna, they're gonna care about the, the, the feelings that are hurt. But Tyrus's point is that like they're just trying to shunt it off, like the reparations discussion, like like let's have it and not do anything. Yeah, but I worry if you don't have the police involved, who is involved? And you know, there's like no due process here. So you make a complaint about someone, and then some other state agency gets involved to punish you, and it's all based on anonymous complaints. So, like, you lose out housing or you lose out benefits or something like that. Like, what's the whole point of this? Because it's not just going into an empty box. Where could it be going if it's not? Yeah, a social worker's going to come sit me down and talk about my feelings? So, no, this is, this is the problem is feelings aren't facts. So if someone says he looked at me the wrong way or they gave me bad service, I want something done. The ten day, the, the hundreds of phone calls that tie up police officers and correctional facilities, all this stuff. Now they got their own hotline. And they promise no police are involved. So if I'm not breaking a law, law enforcement, I don't care. Okay, but think about where these normally are. They're on college campuses where the police are not involved, and they'll, you know, people will make an anonymous complaint. It will destroy someone's life. They get kicked off campus, and it's like that ideology is now transported to the entire state of California. Well, Kat, could this be therapeutic for someone who just needs to vent their problems? Like, perhaps you? Me? Yes. <laughs> no. And I, 
I have a lot of problems, <laughs> but I've never had a problem where I'm going to feel better by calling a hotline like this because it's a government hotline. So what's going to happen when you call? You're going to be put on hold. <laughs> You're going to be put on hold for a very long time and nothing pisses you off even more when you're upset than being put on hold. And then the little music while you're on hold and you're already upset and then you finally get through and what are they gonna say? They're gonna hit you with, I'm so sorry to hear that, ma'am. Why don't I just call the DMV? Like that already exists. I would so volunteer for this program just to take these calls and just screw with them. It's just... <laughs> But I think a lot of people, but th this already exists. It's every government office ever. You call, you tell them things, you wait and you tell them things. They can't do anything. They say, ma'am, you're so sorry to hear that. And you're like, I'm not that old. Don't call me, ma'am. By the way, the hold music will be the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Californication. So, okay, technically the Red Hot Chili Peppers could call a complaint about me because of the things I say. I slandered them, guy. So, two points. Number one, they say the police won't get involved. I don't believe them. Really? I think that this goes into some database somewhere and will be weaponized by someone at some point, whether it's the police or not. Second thought, this is about people who feel like there's an affront to someone's perceived identity. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of Californians in the last few years who have a brand new identity. Floridians. Right. Uh, <laughs> Texans. And so my thought process is, can they maybe dial up the hotline, the old hate line, and explain how much they hate their former state and why? Yes. That would be worthwhile. That's an excellent idea. That would be worth Just listening to. Just flood the lines. They should have a, maybe this, they, this is kind of a hotline for people to narc on people who narc, right? They're just collecting really... Yeah, and it goes in a circle, because if you call on me, then I will call on you. Yes. We'll just keep calling on each other. Exactly. He reported me. Well, he reported me. He made me feel bad when he reported me. Well, he made me feel worse when he reported me. This is going to destroy relationships, too, because imagine if you are venting to a friend and your friend says to you, why don't you call the government hotline? <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of that guy with a giant phone book, the giant thing, and he wore a suit with little question marks on it. Mm. I don't remember who it is. That's going nowhere, obviously, in this segment. <laughs> Remember? Riddler? No, no, he looks like the Riddler. He's like, you can get all this free stuff from a government program. Oh, oh. ask Lesko. <laughs> you, Is that little, right? Am I right? The little kid got it. Do I win something? <laughs> all right. You always think you get a prize, but you don't, do you, guy?